As the month of October 2016 kicked off, so did yet another groundbreaking initiative in the world of football development, but this time on a global scale. Future Champions, a project that aims to find and develop raw footballing talent at grassroots level around the world, saw three high school learners and hard-working football talents from Gauteng being selected out of a total of 100 finalists and named as the winners of the Future Players Talent Search for 2016. The initiative afforded them the opportunity to travel to Spain as guests of La Liga, where they headed off for a truly unforgettable first-hand experience of the dizzying heights of top European football. Joining the trio was also one promising coach that was selected as part of the program as a future coach. We caught up with the future stars at OR Tambo International Airport before they took off on the journey of a lifetime. I'm so very excited and I can't, I don't know what he, like, Lendole is an unexpected, I don't believe it, but I'm so excited about the flight team. I'm really excited because I'm going to meet some of the players that are playing at the bigger teams like um, Atletico Madrid, Villarreal and Valencia, so I'm excited in, to visit the place and see wonderful things there. I'm like very excited, very, very excited. Um, it's the first time I'm going, I'm going through this process, so I'm going to make use of it, I'm going to learn more, and when I come back, I'm going to teach others that they have an experience. Today it's a send-off, we're going to Spain, hola, and we are just going to, it's an opportunity for us to grow see what the world is doing so yeah we off to spend we're not really sure what's up there for us but we are just hoping we're just gonna grow and learn stuff that we can bring home and actually uh, grow or nurture our football more projects coordinator for La Liga South Africa Andrea Yurkovic alongside director of school sport under the Gauteng Provincial Department of Education Cedric Rancher were present to share their sentiments on our future players and their life-changing expedition that lay ahead. We're very excited to be a part of this future player's dream and allow them to have an experience abroad in Spain, train with fantastic clubs and be able to get an international experience that we hope will enrich them and, for, and help them further their careers. I'm looking forward to see the Atletico Madrid and learn more about the team. Oh, last year corner, Spain match a blue bonus year seven. Okay, when I get there, I would like to see Cristiano Ronaldo because I believe I play better than him. So if he can see me play, he, he will just tell me how how am I playing and all this stuff. We were present the day that they were selected, and the three players played fantastically. So we're very certain that we'll do they'll do a great job. First and foremost, it will, it's an educational value. It's got life skills where these learners will be exposed to another country, another culture, another language, and how people live there, ultimately also enhancing their skills in what they'll be seeing. They'll be exposed to the best teams in the world, and they will also be enriching their skills and sharpening their skills in terms of what is required in soccer, ultimately, because they'll meet the best of the best. Touching down on Spanish soil, they were in for a first world experience of a lifetime from the get-go. Since inception in 2009, the partnership between the Gauteng Provincial Government and the Spanish La Liga has flourished. Future Champions Project Managers Harry Lezualo and Lydia Pala told us more on this initiative. It was a project that was brought by Ray Wellen, who's the director at Global Sports International. Uh, when he first came to South Africa, when he explained what the project was about, he he told us that he discovered David Beckham through the skills test that we are doing right now with the project that got the three winners and the coach here in Spain. It's a very good initiative uh, because, you know, from start as in going to the locations, going to all the rural areas to find raw talent from the kids that haven't even been exposed to kicking a ball and to getting them to Spain. That on its own, it shows what it can do to uplift and to give hope to our young players that never even thought that they could even be somewhere in life. As a government, we saw a need that uh, we really need to partner with uh, GSI, with the company that uh, the right holder for these future champions, because um, they really gave us a great initiative. As a government, we saw a need that 
for us to promote and develop uh, football in our country, this is a, a good project that uh, that's how the provincial government we really need to be involved with. If you have a, a good development um, project and if your grassroots is very good, indeed you will produce good results and you will have proper, proper players because they will learn from the young age that um, these are the skills and um, attitude, ability and behavior that one must have to be a great player in the world. These three specifically, they are very talented, they show passion, they are determined, but they are still kids. They still need more motivation and more grooming, but I believe they will get somewhere in life. We will see them on national TV doing great things for South Africa and representing us. Taking their strides and giant leaps with the help of the Future Champions Initiative, the Gauteng Provincial Government and La Liga, these future stars were ready to take on the Kingdom of Spain. First off on the schedule was a tour around the home of the Bats, Valencia CF, as our Mzansi Nationals were welcome to take a look around the football club's sporting structures and facilities, and also to spectate a world-class match between Valencia CF and Atletico Madrid. We caught up with International Sport Development Manager for Valencia CF, Luis Martinez, as he expressed his support for our future champions' beneficiaries. I think those initiatives are very important and I will recommend all the clubs to, to do such, such a things because I think it's important for kids from other countries that they don't have access to important leagues like here in Spain to play football. We need to help them and give them the tools to, to, to play football, to love football because football is a sport that is very good for them but also it's values. It has to come with values such as, as, as teamwork, as uh, sacrifice, as uh, just enjoy. I mean, it's important to enjoy sport, to enjoy football, and it's important, this is important for kids from Africa, like in this time, but we want to do this for kids from Asia, America, Europe, any, any continent, any country in the world. Fully and duly inspired with awe, the trip proved to be serving its purpose in seeing these young individuals realize not only their limitless sporting potential, but also their human potential, as they had graced a first world country for the very first time. Eva Wigelendam, external advisor for international events La Liga, fully agrees. It's a big opportunity for any kid from all over the world because uh, football is very important in, in the Spanish culture. I think they go back to South Africa uh, with new ideas, a lot of experience and I think and I hope that this will be a trip they will never forget. For them to come to Spain, probably the first time that they fly, so, such a long flight, they come to Spain, they see a stadium. Our stadium, it's a really nice stadium. Tomorrow it's a great game against Atletico de Madrid. It's going to be full, very crowded. Our supporters are going to be cheering for our team all the time. And I think it's an amazing experience for somebody to have never been in a, in a match like this. Sure enough, the promise of seeing the clash between Valencia CF and Atletico Madrid firsthand the next day was kept and proved to be a life-altering experience indeed. It was a privilege to be able to play with the Chris Mani, with the Kibu, with the Torres, with the Nani, with the Kurbata, 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 with the when they're all combined in the stadium, they are like a family. There's no fighting, there's no corruption. Even the securities are, don't, they don't even need to work because they treat each other very well with respect and they are disciplined. Having seen firsthand the fruits of the labor professional players put in on the training grounds and facilities, the boys reflected on their match day experience. It actually opened my eyes because even I, I, I could partake in, in that. If, if, if I, like, if I pro progress in, in my soccer career, I could also end up where they were yesterday. The training facilities Sharp and 
ko Valencia go na le discipline ngata ko re batho ba ntwena ba dedicated ene ba passionate mo kolong ko ko lo tsotso setse le re ba yetsa ko ba passionate ga tso a fortuitous bonus of being hosted by Valencia CF our future champions team converged with none other than Fernando Torres in the hallway of the stadium as the Atletico Madrid striker exited the change rooms Charlton was more than excited as he had experienced something to truly call home about. I've always told my parents that one day I will, I will take a picture with him and finally this day has come so I'm, I'm excited. Embarking in new adventures in a new world, our future players took the time to learn a sport called foot volley. It is played almost exactly like volleyball but with the twist that there is no using of hands during play. Our future coach, Krista Khampe, gave us her take on the benefits of the activity. It is amazing. It's good, actually, because it works at the different muscles and it also works the different parts of the brain because it's a bit tricky than the usual football that they play. So they enjoyed it, they laughed about it. If they made mistakes, they laughed. And they sort of enjoyed it. Also, the environment, the atmosphere, it's nice, it's relaxing. And the trainer was also clear on the instructions. So they sort of understood it and liked it. It's very difficult to start playing football, but uh, you have to train in and uh, maybe three or four times per week. And uh, you can improve in maybe five or six months. But it's very difficult to, to play a, a good level. Maybe you have to take uh, some years. In the training of today, they play good because uh, the players have very good qualities. The coaches, not so, so much qualities, but uh, they, they try. It's a very difficult game, but it's actually it's, it's good for us because it's learning us how to more control, more basic football, and it's going to help us on a, on a real pitch. Stay with us as our young hopefuls journey into the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, home of the Real Madrid Museum, and watch their skills on the ball as they train with franchise clubs Villarreal and Atletico Madrid. Prior to the trip, the selection process to filter out the best of the best from the abundance of raw talent the youth possess in and around Gauteng took months of behind-the-scenes coordination. Making the mammoth task easier to accomplish, it was necessary to solicit the assistance of the Gauteng Provincial Government's Department of Education sector of school sport. We helped with the selection of teams and the participation in terms of the league so that we get a round-robin situation where learners play against one another and out of that we get a competition where learners are then selected for the future champs. I think it's the responsibility of government to give all its learners in the province an opportunity, but more so those ones with disadvantage, the ones that really can't make it at the end of the day, are getting an opportunity to compete and also have an opportunity to make a livelihood out of sports if they really perform and do their best. And we must just be the vehicle that takes them there. In the spirit of travel, not before their vigorous morning gym session, the future champions team took a small detour as they were treated to a trip to the beautiful La Oceanographic. Situated in the east of the city of Lencia, it is Europe's largest aquarium and home to an abundance of representatives of the world's main marine ecosystem. In keeping with the aquatic theme, the team was bussed off to the home of the yellow submarine, Villarreal CF, where we caught up with academy manager Raul Herrera. He talked with us about the proud status they hold as an internationally well-established football club. Bueno, Villarreal es una de las ciudades deportivas más importantes de los clubes españoles que están en la élite y destaca en que tenemos todo lo necesario para el desarrollo del chico junto. Tenemos el colegio, la parte de la residencia con el comedor y todas las instalaciones y la parte deportiva con los campos de entrenamiento, los servicios médicos. 
todos reunidos en el mismo en el mismo lugar que es difícil de conseguir en España, ya que el, los colegios suelen ir aparte del de la dirección deportiva y en este caso lo tenemos junto. Pudimos construir la ciudad deportiva justo al lado de un instituto. What I like more about Spain in terms of football, I love their academies. You can see that they take initiatives. They start young kids as young as six. They are in the academy and they're playing on a league. And I think that it's something that we should take home and you know start doing, develop our young players from an early age, get better academies that are well managed with good coaches for every age size. After presenting our future players and coach with new training gear, Raúl had only wonderful things to say about the Future Champions Initiative. Me parece una fabulosa idea de de la liga porque creo que hay que conseguir que el fútbol eh, se abra a todos los países y, y a todas las culturas y me parece maravilloso que hayan venido estos tres chicos aquí, creo que ha sido una experiencia buena para ella, buena para nuestros jugadores porque los han, han estado muy pendientes de ellos y los han cuidado y los han mimado y, y creo que de, se debería repetir mucho más a menudo. Having witnessed and participated in the training sessions, our future coach shared her insight to the talent that our future champions possess. Pilani is 13 years of age. She is petite, like small bodied, but she's very quick and she's the right winger. She's not strong with her left, but she is able to actually dribble forward. So she dribbles with the purpose of going forward. And then there is Shelton, who's a natural left. He can play as, as a winger and he has like a good eye for, for the net. So you can see that Shelton always has his head up and he can pick the spot on the net. His aim is not to to kill the keeper, to hit the ball um, straight to the keeper, but just to place it inside, so in terms of scoring. And uh, you have Prince, who is very skillful when it comes to being creative. And um, he's, he doesn't, he's not a player who holds back. Once he passes, he creates space quickly, move away so that other people, other players can actually occupy the space that was, he was in and he puts himself in a good position to go forward. The team moved on to Madrid by means of the locally renowned Spanish high-speed train. Running at speeds of up to 310 kilometers an hour, these luxury trains reduce traveling time from Valencia to Madrid by half. The busy schedule was taking its toll on our young champs, and the comfort of the AVE was too much to resist, as they took the time to get some R&R. Nevertheless, they had plenty of time to catch up on their sightseeing as they would undoubtedly wake up to a dream come true on arrival at the home of the internationally acclaimed Spanish giants Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. But before they got to grace the camps of the greats, the team attended a prestigious event held by La Liga, where they unveiled the brand new La Liga ambassadors who have now joined the ranks of the many other superstars that were already proud ambassadors of the brand. Superstars Xavi Hernandez, David Villa and Kiko, newly appointed La Liga ambassadors, shared the stage with our very own future champions beneficiaries as they were handed certificates in recognition of the Future Players and Coaches program in collaboration with La Liga. Written, signed and delivered in style, the certificates provide a proof that transformation at a grassroots level through the Gauteng Future Champions initiative is truly in the running. Seeing that our scholars have been taking in so much outside of the classroom during this expedition, their trip advisors thought it well that the team take a trip down Spanish memory lane. What better lesson in history than a practical one? Hence, the team took the opportunity to witness a ceremony held at the Royal Palace of Madrid called Changing of the Guards. This is a weekly display put on for the public, where 100 guards and 100 horses march as they did in the kingdom of Alfonso, the 12th king of Spain, during his reign in the 18th century. With all due respect to His Royal Highness, our hopefuls were looking forward to a different kind of royalty, the kind where players don golden boots and earn their silverware battling on the turf to be crowned kings of the beautiful game.
All hail as the future champions team stepped foot onto the hallowed grounds of Real Madrid CM, the Santiago Bernabeu, which also houses within it the Real Madrid Museum. Who more appropriate to share his thoughts on the display of royalty than skill patch future player Prince? Stadium <laughs> Jacabo, Real Madrid, or Barcelona, or a motivated as a player, can turn a giver get hat, or give it a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of Each and every player, if you join a team and you look into their history, that must just uh, capture your memory, that must just uh, give you some uh, um, idea to say, this is where I want to be. The, 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 the facility as a whole is beautiful. Uh, the pitch is out of this world. Uh, the change room, wow. It really shows how professional they are. It really shows how serious they take football and, 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 and they really know what they're doing. This is their lifestyle. This is their, this is their career. Indeed it is. The young stars got a taste of their future careers as they were afforded yet another opportunity to train with a world-class team. This time, Real Madrid rivals Atletico Madrid. It was very fun, it was really nice. Um, they were very warm, they were very, even if there was like a language barrier, but I always say that football is a universal language. For some reason, we ended up understanding one another and um, it was understandable what they're doing because I feel like strategies are almost the same. It's just how you trick them around. And the coaches were also uh, very helpful. They helped us a lot to actually get into the game and participate and feel like we are home. So yeah, it was really nice, I loved it. The basics are very important. Ball possession, keep your eyes up and um, keep the ball within the team, as, I'm, as I said, ball possession. So I'm going to take it back home that, uh, yes, we have our gassy flavor, you know, the flair, but before we add that, we need to stick to basics because basics will never fail you. You just have to groom them from an early age. You don't have to wait until it's too late for them to learn certain things. But yeah, there's so much to learn. If at an early age, then later on, then you can work on tactical um, improvement. It's amazing to see uh, how football gets a smile on their faces. Like each day, we did something different, and each day there were new surprises. Um, the big stadiums for the first time going to a match, uh, uh, taking a picture with Fernando Torres just by accident. Uh, they received a lot of gifts like, I think La Liga, well, from La Liga we're really grateful that the clubs made this possible for them. They kept saying that uh, it felt like a dream, but it wasn't. Uh, it was a dream for them to come true, I think. My hope for the three of them is that they should lead by example and be leaders in their own right, which I think they, they will be. Here they've seen how disciplined girl soccer rights are. Here they've seen professional players and they've seen how competitive they are. So for them at the end of the day, it will take away not just discipline, but a real sense of what soccer is really all about in a country. It's about social cohesion. In this country, soccer really provides social cohesion at a level that you can't understand. Firstly, I want to make a difference. Um, I, I want to be like the difference making in my community for, for, for all the children that, that, that think that they couldn't make it. They should look up to me and say, yeah, this guy, he grew up in this community. There was, there was nothing in the community for him, but look what a great star he is today. I never got I never got the I never got the I 
core experience le re ekri le monthu ena mo mo spini ke fitise tsa gape go country nyaka ama experience e nwa tholile la anga ngisiza ngukuthi ngikhone ukumotivate a new generation nokuthi ngibe i role model abanga abaza ngaphansi kwami hlamene abanga phezulu kwa as the age old saying goes all good things must come to an end as true as that may be, it is not so for these bright, young, talented future champions beneficiaries as they headed home with the promise that the potential for a better life awaits them in the near future. With the efforts of future champions La Liga and the Gauteng Provincial Government, their footballing dreams can soon become a reality. I want to say thank you to Gauteng Provincial Government. I want to say thank you to Ray from GSI, Global Sports International, and to the whole team that work together to come here, especially to La Liga, and we hope this partnership continues and to add more value into the project so that we can empower and encourage other young kids that anything is possible.